The latest, Michael, from North Korea, where the regime has confirmed for the first time that U.S. soldier Travis King is in custody after crossing into the country. Chief Global Affairs anchor Martha Raddatz is tracking the story. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, George. Travis King's family has been pleading with the administration to get him out of North Korea, even though he clearly entered of his own will. But this morning, the North Koreans are claiming the Army private wants to stay where he is. It is the first time there has been public confirmation by the North Koreans that Travis King is in custody, saying in a statement that King illegally and deliberately intruded into North Korean territory and has admitted such. It was July 18th when Travis King, released after 47 days in jail for an altercation, joined a tour group on the border and bolted to the other side. This was the last image of him that has been seen. The North Koreans say that King told them he decided to cross the border because he, quote, harbored ill feelings about inhumane treatment and racial discrimination within the U.S. Army. That is something his family told ABC just weeks ago. The messages became strange. And then I was like, you OK? And then he's, he's telling me, no, they're trying to kill me. And then he just continued to send these songs and and speaking to me and he was saying things like, said they're racist. I know it made me seem like something was going on with him, like he was fearing for his life. Travis was supposed to return to the U.S. where he faced discharge from the Army because of disciplinary problems. The Pentagon says they cannot verify the North Korean comments, but that the priority remains using all channels to bring Travis King home safely. Guys? All right there, Martha. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.